What's going on, everybody? We're going to do some convoy today. I think we got Ricky in the house here, so we're going to try and get in. I was trying to get into the convoy server. We're not, I haven't been able to get into it yet, so we're going to have to figure out what's going on with Ricky here. Welcome in, everybody. Hopefully, everybody had a great weekend, and let's just try to get at it and see what we can find out what's going on here. What's going on, Ricky? How are we doing tonight, buddy? I'm doing good. Yeah, I tried getting into Cleared the some roads. I was trying to get into the convoy. I can't get your thing to pull up again. Even though I used I the, just I just hosted one. Oh just oh you did? Okay. Let's yeah, join. I just figured we'll try that. Okay, so if I go to join how come it won't let me join convoy? Um do I just need to type your name in the top there again? Nope. Remember that none of that works. You have to go into your Steam friends and hit join game. Ah, boy. Okay. Let's see if we can do this here. So, Steam friends. All right. I forget how to do it. I go into Steam and then friends, right? Or do I get to go Yeah, somewhere? and then up Steam friends and then join game. Oh, friends, view list scheme here. Right, right click on my name and say join game. Join game. There we go. Let's see if that works. Nope. It does. You have to hang on a minute. Okay. And that window will pop up asking you for the password. Remember how it did that before? Do I have to have uh, American Truck Simulator closed down? I mean, ideally, that's the way it should be, but I think you've done it both ways. Uh, what should I do? I got So I'm in the um, convoy area. At, every time we've done this before, you've... You've asked about that, and then you, as you've gone to go shut down the game, the box pops up asking you for the password. So I'm not sure what you got to do. Here. All right, let's go launch pad. Leave. All right, maybe if I try doing it while I'm out of the game here again. Join game. Hmm. Be easy is just to shut down the game and and say join game from the Steam friends. All right, let's see if this works here. Yeah, another box opens up says play American Truck Simulator. It's weird that it does that. I don't know if it's going to launch, though. Let's see if it launches. Ah, we're stuck. Should. Freaking stuck. Gosh, dang it. Windows and tab. Why is it not yeah. working? And I hit Windows and tab. Trucky's still sitting in the overlay over the top of the game. I can't get it. It's like the mouse is stuck again. Hmm. See if I hit the task manager again. Let's 
trying to get her working here. So the game just opened up, but it didn't say that I'm in convoy. Should ask you for a password. Maybe this weekend, if we get some time, we can try and look this up and find out what is going on, why it's not working properly. Because it should, your name should just pop up if I type it in. It, it doesn't work that way because of the server area that you're in. Remember, I looked that up. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, I do remember you saying that. Um, well, it's not... I think that's piss poor design, but... I don't know why you have such a hard time getting into the game because yeah, because whenever like, I did it when you were running convoy, I had no issue. When I when I uh, open it up through friends and shut I shut the game down. It did ask me it it launched Steam, but then it didn't put me into convoy. And even I don't what, know what to tell you. I, I've never had any issues with that. I just have the game shut down completely. I go to my Steam friend list and I say join game and it just it just works. Uh, all right. Let's try it one more time here. Wonder why yours so. When I pull up, uh, when I pull up friends list, it like who's who's up or who's playing right now. It's showing your name, but next to your name it has like three Z's, like you're sleeping. Through uh -huh. Steam. I don't know if that maybe is showing that you're. Now it's now it now it stopped. Now that oh, it says I'm online. Yeah, when I when I go to when I went to click on join game, it opens up Steam, says what do you want to launch it with? I launch game. Now it should throw me right into convoy, right? It should ask you for a password. Yeah, it doesn't. It and just then throw you into convoy. See, it just says it just goes to the the Well actual, you still gotta you, you got to continue into the game, right? Okay, like you got to select game. your profile. Yeah, you got to select your profile, all that stuff. Okay, so I'm in the profile. It's loading up the game right now. And then just opens up into the main screen where you can have drives, drive, uh, navigation, convoys. It doesn't throw me into a convoy where then you ask for a password. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you start up a convoy. I'll join yours. Wait, wait. Here we go. Something different now. Unable to join session mods mismatch. Real companies get uh, gas stat. Real. Oh, all my mods are on. Yeah. But it should turn on my mods. It doesn't do it automatically. You have to activate them. Yeah. Why did you start up a convoy in? No, no, no. And I'll just, got, take, I'll, I'll just put the mods, mods in because the only thing I, the only thing I didn't have in there is um, I took out, I put uh, undiscovered roads in there, which I was using to try and find some of the things. So self repairing's in there. Real world signs should be up one. 
real all brand uh, brands. This one should be up one. Real world ad advertisements I need still. Real companies, gas stations, and billboards. I'm wondering now if I should try and do the join game again. I don't know. It just seems weird that it's, that it's so buggy with you. Or just, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Right. I mean, you know me. I'm nothing but trouble anyway, so it probably is me doing <laughs> it. Huh. A new follower. What's going on, Lightning? How we doing, my friend? Yeah. Um, hang on one second. There's the Discord. Yeah, I got the Discord up there. Uh, hey, buddy, I've been loving your content, and that's why I'm part of your fans. I did notice a few areas in which I could level up your channel together. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really looking for any of that right now, though, but I appreciate it. Uh, Messiah. It's a bot. Yeah. Probably not even a real person. It's just a bot. Um, let's see. It's still not fucking opening. Try it again here. All right, finding, oh wait, did you, uh, no, okay, continue that. Wonder if it'll put me in it now. I got all the mods put back in there. Okay. I had to take out that real world. I mean, when I'm trying to do finding uh, the buildings that I haven't done before and I want to do loads out of them, I had to take that out of there because it's just not working out for the app. Missing the map data. Mod mismatch, real companies, guess the. You should this. be able to, there should be a button that says, if you have them, it should, it should give you the option to like. Yeah, no. That's activate what... and, put, and order them. But maybe that's only on the Deddy server. Yeah. That's only on the dedicated server. Which, I mean, I could launch the dedicated server. I thought. I don't know. It might have, oh no, it restarted because it did updates. I haven't launched it back up again. You want to do that? I know that one will let you order stuff. Let's see if it. Let's, let's see if it'll pull it up. But just if I put your name in here, it won't. I promise you, it will not. Hmm. I just don't get this. I wish I would have been able to get in here earlier. See, it's still saying missing the map mod data. I wonder what, what's missing. Maybe did I put maybe the wrong just maybe I put the wrong You might have a mod turned you probably have a mod turned on that I don't. No, I I took a picture of our mods that we were using. Launch pad. Unless you change them. Um it's this way when I put you have oh the Z, uh, Zenith. A new follower. 000. Hell yeah. Here, I'm gonna I, I launched the uh, I launched the daddy server. Self-repairing, 
real brands and AI trailer add-on, real world signs and logos, real advertisements. That's one I'm missing. Frickin' A. How did I miss that one? Real advertisement. Where's that one at? This one here. All right, so go there, but uh, this goes down a couple. Because they have to be in the same order, right? Yeah, I just launched the Denny server. I just joined the Denny server, so it's up. That will do everything for you if you go in there and try to join it. All right, hang on. Sorry for the problem of the child that I'm always in. All right, where are we at here? Let's close this out. So remember, you got to go get the code. Yeah, I have the, um, it may still be part of my uh, control V. Yeah. Let's see if it shows up in here. Join convoy. Yay. All right, we're back in business here. Let's shut that down. Let's shut this off. Yay, we're finally in convoy. <laughs> All right. Where so where are you? Um, let's see in the map here. So right now I'm in uh Colorado like a uh, in Colorado, um, in Pubo, uh, Pubo. Um, we can go wherever you're at, though. Um, I still, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm just driving around. I have a I lot of the map to still unlock, so it doesn't matter where we go. So you're still, you're in Montana right now. So what I've been working on over the weekend is I did get Arizona at a hundred percent. I got Idaho at a hundred percent. I got Montana at a hundred percent. Utah's at a hundred percent. Colorado. I've been working in Colorado. There was all these one little teeny little spots in the map. I'm at 99.99% and I can't find the freaking one little speck that <laughs> freaking is like I thought I had it and I don't understand where it is because I had a, a mod on here that was um, finding undiscovered roads and I went to every place on the map that I could see, because it turns it a different color, um, and and went to all these spots and picked them all up, and I still cannot find that one little piece somewhere. Like it wasn't even showing up with the mod, hmm. and I don't think it has anything to do with uh, the pictures. You know how you take it might the, be a hidden road, but it, it with the mod it should show up because it does show up on some of the other areas where there was some hidden roads um but yeah i'm missing like 0.01 percent somewhere but our map is getting better we still got tons in california because of the rework of california and we don't have as much in some of the other ones here a lot of them are uh, let's see, Nevada's at 93.86%. Wyoming, we need a quite a bit at 87%. Texas, of course, is only at 17%. We got a ton, a ton of there. Oregon's at 99.42%. And New Mexico's at 91.49%. Um, I mean, I think, I think we should run to Texas just because we haven't, we got the most that we need to do in Texas. At least I do. And okay. we can maybe get a few of these roads done or something. Um, I don't know where. Let's see where we can even quick travel to. All right. So we could go to McAllen, way down the very bottom of Texas. Or we go to Houston. Let's, we can go to, let's go to Houston if you want. Sure. We'll start over on the right-hand side of Houston. 
All right, let's see where our map's at here. So we're over in Houston. We can pretty much take a load anywhere. Um, it looks like we got a, a worker station right next door to us. We could probably run over to and a garage. Uh, let's reset their navigation. Let's go over here to the garage. At least get the garage opened up here. Time to hit the road. Yeah, what a ping though. I mean, I, I, I guess it's because I'm so um, hell bent about getting my map at 100% again, or at least working towards that, that it really bothers me that I can't find that 0.01%. In Colorado like I don't think I did any loads this whole week and all I was doing was driving around getting these little specks of road that weren't picked up somehow and I think a lot of it had to do with uh, when they had updates they maybe did an update to the road or the area because I know all these states were at a hundred percent and now all of a sudden you got like these little teeny percentages How's your day going, Lightning? I figure I would just go over, run over here to this thing here and uh, get this little question mark opened up real quick while we're here. I think I'm actually driving on the wrong side of the road here. Probably just a worker station. Oh wait, it's the dri yeah, this driver thing here. Somehow I missed it. Do you want to find us a load to take, and we'll uh, start running some loads? We can do a long load or a short load. Doesn't matter to me because we we got plenty of time tonight. All right, I'm just unlocking some roads over here. You had a busy week with uh, a bunch of uh, softball games. You had yeah. been wore out. Yeah, I played two more today. Oh my gosh. I thought for sure you would be resting the whole day. No. How come there's no, so many games uh, going on like at once like this? Tournament. Oh. Yeah, we played in a tournament this weekend, played in a tournament last weekend, played in a tournament the weekend before. Sheesh. Three weekends in a row. Yeah, I thought you'd be in, uh, in the bath with uh, Mrs. Ricky and some Epsom salt and <laughs> freaking no. chilling, and build, chicken, um, chilling it out, man. Not much of a bath taker. Me neither, but I mean, with all that running around, I'm thinking probably had uh, been pretty sore. Nah, I'm alright. Shit, I've been on Advil you know, for two days now because of doing the damn landscaping bricks that I did in front of our house. That's the thing about playing so much is you actually do start to get in shape. Oh, god damn it. Are you saying that I'm not in shape? No. I'm saying I do a lot of running around. You do. Let's turn there. Shit. This place. Now, see, somehow I'm off the map here. I think, I wonder if this is like one of them other roads. Although it just ends in a little cul de sac here. Oh, there's a bunch of garbage on the ground, too. Someone's been partying over here. Damn homeless. <laughs> Yeah, what 
the hot tip building is that? It almost looks like a truck wash. It's not on the map, it's like just past the road here. Yeah, so it looks like a truck wash. Blue beacon. Yeah, it is a truck wash. You can't wash the truck though. Interesting. <laughs> Trying to unlock all these roads. Yeah, so I just did a little circle here. We don't have any, uh, I don't see any buildings to go to. What's this one road right here? Oh, it's a scale. Truck scale. We've got two of them here. There's a repair shop over here. All right, I'll see if I can find a load at this uh, building down at the end here. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what kind of loads we got here. So we got a ventilation shaft going 91 miles, 92 miles. We got a boat that's going 378 miles. Or we got a pump jack that's going, holy mackerel, 2,322 miles. All the way up to your, your neck of the woods, Washington. Seattle, Whatever Washington. Whatever you feel like doing. I'm down for any of them. Yikes. 2,000. 2,322 miles. That's a hike and a half. Um, let's do the 378 miles. That one's a little bit, I think it, it'll be a little bit more uh, worth it. Plus, it's a boat. Who, want, who wouldn't want to take a boat? A boat? Yeah. Once I get hooked up on it, you should be able to grab it too. If I find the boat. There's the boat. Ah, who put that piece of steel right there? It's like the size of my buddy's boat. Maybe, maybe a little bit bigger. This is a little bit bigger. Although it kind of looks like it is. He's got a big back seat like that. He doesn't have a swim deck like that in the back. He's got a little bit of a deck in the back there. I'll wait for you over here at the entrance. Get ready to turn right. So did Mrs. Ricky go with you today? Uh, at your, to your no, it was today? it was too too early. I had to get up. I was up at five thirty this morning. Yikes! I had to drive an hour to go play, and oh, we wow. played two games, and then came home. So I was home by noon. Yeah, I was hanging out with uh, Phipps there for a little bit this afternoon. Oh yeah. And then he's like, oh, "I'll be right back," and then he never showed back up. 
So I just don't yeah, I gotta go. He, I got to go. He gets tied up. I might need to get some fuel here somewhere. Let's see in the map if we got fuel anywhere around here. I got about a half a tank, so I'm probably down for some fuel too. We might have to wait until we get. Uh, looks like there's some when you get to uh, Interstate 77. Looks like uh, mine's got to to go down uh, Interstate 10, and then uh, when we come up to the next Interstate uh, 77, there's a fuel station right there. We could stop there's a there. Photo op. There's a photo op there in Houston too that I don't have that I might. Let's see where's that at. Uh, right oh, in the middle below, of Houston. There. Yeah, just below it there. Um, did you want to set our maps? Well, I don't know if we could set our maps there or not. You can. You, Let's see. Set right here. You can just set, it's going to want you I'm to do a circle. It. Well, I'm not going to set it there. I'm going to set it up where I'm getting fuel. Oh, I see that fuel station right next to it. Are you talking about? On Interstate no. 45? No, on off of 10. I know. No, I'm talking about the photo thing you wanted to do. I'm just going to stop on the highway right there, and I'm going to take a picture of it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to stop right in the middle of 10, and I'm going to take a picture. I don't have to be right next to it on any other highway. I'm not seeing that other one, then. I see what the one mean? that... The, the, the one that's the fuel below. that I'm looking at is at the oh, intersection of oh, 10 oh, and 77. See, oh, right, right, right on Houston, right where the word Houston is. There's a photo thing. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, I, th I thought you were yeah. talking about the other one that's over here by just uh, a little bit to the left of, of right of Houston and below. Drive safe. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to stop oh, at 10. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, just stop on 10. Are you pulling and out I got right a marker now? marker for fuel. Yeah. Kind of a cool looking boat. Thinking four straps though. I don't know if that's gonna hold it steady enough, but we'll see. I got some crazy driving here. Go straight on. Kind of coming up quick to me. I was just, just rolling them slowly here. I don't know why it wants to take us. Oh, because that's a one-way road right there. I was going to go around that left-hand turn there, but I guess not. Apparently, we do have to make our left-hand turn here. Turn left. If I can see the traffic. Turn right. Get ready. Turn oh, right. snap. There's a car. Just drive on the other side oh. of the road there for a second. Turn right. All right, we're on the road here. Now, uh, which one? Keep right or keep left? So we want 10, right?
Let me know when we're getting close to that picture thing. So I don't I didn't make a marker for that. Well, it's gotta be right here somewhere. Pretty close to here. Yeah. It's gonna be the city skyline is what it is. Try to go a little bit further. Yeah, I'm gonna just pull up right here on the shoulder and I'm gonna stop, take a picture. I'll pull up, I'll get you in my picture. All right, let's get in here to media photo mode. Houston City Sky. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I'll get both both boats in there. Did you hide the names so it looked no, like I, a real photo? I forgot how to do that. Oh, Just hit and, in. Oh, too late. Now you're already taking off. Too late. All right. I'll follow you. For some reason now Trucky won't pull up here. Even though I kept Trucky in the background. Maybe I shut it. Oh, I did shut it down actually. I have to I have to figure out why that's doing what it's doing. Like I think when I streamed on Thursday night, the Trucky overlay wasn't showing up in stream again. And I don't understand why it does it sometimes and then doesn't do it on other times. So like I'll be talking that I'm setting up a load and it's not even showing up in stream. Hmm. Oh gosh. A little bit of traffic. <laughs> Might have bumped that guy. Might have or did? Oh yeah, you did. He stopped. I'm, lo I'm looking at the map, and all of a sudden I look, and there's two cars sitting there in the middle of the road. Yeah, I may have bumped him. Just a little scratch. Oh, I gotta pull in for a vehicle inspection. Oh, I almost hit that car. I can't remember if mine showed that I needed to pull in or not, but I'm not going to pull in if I had to slow down quite a bit because the car just basically stopped right in front of me. I was going to say, why does mine say 22 miles left? I mean, we had a 300 mile, but I forgot we got to stop at the gas station.
Yeah, I didn't even have time to get my rolling uh, 389 truck going this weekend. So bummed. I was so hell bent on trying to get some of these these uh, states fully covered, and then I was just I was just whooped after that. Uh, I pretty much messed around in the front yard for about three hours on Saturday morning. I think I started at like nine and nine or eight, and, and ended at like eleven thirty. And then when I got done, I was just whooped. I didn't want to do nothing. Like I was gonna go on here because my wife was actually gone for the afternoon. Um, she had to go to work for a couple hours, and uh, I figured I'd do it then. And I, I didn't. I ended up watching a bunch of the Olympic stuff that I had taped. Starting to knock off a couple of them so far. I have th uh, like 400 some episodes of the Olympics that I that have taped, and then I got like probably about 17 of them that are the prime time stuff that was like on middle of the day or middle of the night. I mean, all right, I'm low, filled up here. I'll let you take the lead here. Do you, when you're shifting gears in your truck, do you go one, two, three, four, five, and then shift, or, or do you skip gears? Uh, it just depends. Sometimes I skip, sometimes I don't. Yeah, I seem to skip quite a bit. I go from one to third to fifth, and then I'll either go six, seven, eight. Um, but a lot, of, I, a lot of times I don't even use second go gear. On. A lot of times I start out in second gear. I'll just stay in low until I get to eighth gear and then I'll I'll click it to high gear. It's kinda cool the flags on the back of it, uh on the back of your trailer are flapping around. So and I gotta get my coffee stopped, so we might have to do a pit stop. Did you guys win today at all? At your softball? We won one three yesterday, went one and one today. One and one? Seems like you guys are doing pretty good though. You yeah, know, we, did, been... we did pretty good this weekend. Yeah. Are all your teammates show up at, at all the games? Uh no. We had a couple pickup players this weekend. stuff down here. We've got a repair shop, we've got a gas station, question mark, looks like a dealership maybe, Kenworth dealership.
<laughs> you honking them, getting them out of your way. Yeah. I see the car pulled out just at the last second there in front of you. Sometimes it works. Same with that nighttime. If you flash your high beams at them, they'll sometimes move over on you. Corpus Christi. I've never been to Texas at all. I've been there once. Our corporate headquarters is in, is in Houston, I believe. We just passed the cop. Yeah, yesterday morning, went outside around, around 5.30 in the morning, there's a a sheriff's deputy sitting there at the across the street from a house and then I look down the street that's directly in front of us it's like a cross street um, and there must have been three or four more deputies and I was talking to the neighbor yesterday or this morning when I took the dog for a walk and he says uh, he says there's a house down the, like across the street from us there's another side street and that and on that street the I guess there's a house there that's been raided like twice now for drug dealing. He thinks that that was the reason why the sheriffs were out on the street this morning doing a raid or something. Huh. I'm like, oh, great. Apparently, I, well, I didn't even know the guy that lives across the street from me. He's uh, like a volunteer police officer in one of the neighboring cities. Some of them oh, still nice. have volunteer uh, you know, police officers, some of the smaller cities. I mean, I believe they do still have some regular um, that are on, you know, that work for the city, but they do have a lot of volunteers too. This dude's huge too, man. Like, uh, he, he definitely he works out quite a bit. I wouldn't want to screw with him. He was, he was a cop pulling up in front of my house. Sweet, I get to bypass this one. I'm guessing I'll probably be able to, too. Let's see. Oh, it asked for me to pull in, but I'm not going to. I can slow down and wait for you. All right, I'll pull in. Ah, this other truck had to pull in, too, in front of me. Bitch. And he had to, like, basically practically stop right in the driveway here. I slowed down to like 50. I'm next on the scale. I don't normally stop on these, but it will be good to get these uncovered real quick while I'm here, and then this next time I can just fly by them. Alright, I'm pulling out right now. Okay. Keep well, it must be getting uh, nighttime. Yeah, 7.39 p.m. Sun setting. Getting up to speed now. I'm at 80 miles an hour. All right.
all the people are moving over into the left lane. I don't know why. There's another one. Maybe because I got my head high beams on. We got some traffic coming in. You should be right behind me, about, aren't you? Pretty much. I'm sweet. I'm swerving behind you here. Oh yeah. Uh oh, there goes my alarm. All right, I'll find the next. Uh... We got a little uh, rest area coming up here we can stop at. Up here, uh... Oh, we're already here. Yeah, we're, we're at our destination. Yeah, let's go to... Let's, we got 37 miles to go. We'll just run it to the, uh, to the place here and we'll... Uh, while I'm turning it on, you can get us another load here. That car just totally went right into my lane here. Oh, coming off on the exit ramp, and I start getting an itch on my leg. <laughs> driving right there because <laughs> I didn't hit any of them <laughs> I hit I hit I must have hit the tr uh, the sign on the way because I got 1% uh, early damage can pick a, a place that we're not at when we take the load from. We maybe drive to that one of the other. we're not at? Yeah. Oh. This, way, this way we take a load out of somewhere we haven't been to. Yeah, I, I haven't been to any of these spots in this whole area, so you can pick any one of them. Looks like there's a couple okay, to the left of us. Looks like I've been to that one. The one to the left of us? It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Looks like, well, there's a couple in front of us, too, I think, down the road here. I didn't pull up the map, but I could see them on my map right now. All right, I'm going to go get my coffee turned down. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, I'm back here.
I'm gonna go out the other side here so I can get that other driveway filled in too. Lord, a truck just pulled up behind me and I backed right into it. Did you take uh, another load from here or are you just going around a building too? No, I just I just finished dropping okay. mine off. Okay. I'm gonna open up these gas stations real quick too while we're here. Oh, it's got a repair place too. So I'm gonna go up here. Okay, I'm just gonna run through here real Mom. quick. That's a big truck stop. That's kind of interesting and in what the left lane went up on the freeway, the right lane stayed on the below here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is really strange. It's a lot of little roads they have to try to get filled in here. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm getting into a lot of wrecks. <laughs> <laughs> I think we kind of had the same idea. Well, I didn't want to get on the freeway because I figured we'd get, grab one of these places over here. It looks like an electronic place right here. And then we got a... Um, there's a... There's a um, looks like a, a truck dealer or something maybe over here too. Could be wrong. Oh, it's a Swift. Uh, it's a Swift uh, company. Do you want me to take a load if I find some? Yeah. All right. Let's see what's here. All right, we got rice, which is going 679 miles up to New Mexico. We got fireworks going, holy mackerel, 1,554 miles up to 
Wyoming. We got another one uh, packaged food going to F Fort Worth, Texas, and Wichita Falls. So we got 570 or 489. Want to do the 570? Do some toys? Sure. Ready to run. All right. That'll take us to the north side of uh, Texas here. Man, they got a lot of trailers here. We're gonna be swift drivers for a load. What? Yeah. Well, I gotta turn around and go back, don't I? Time to hit the road. It's a long trailer too. Nice. Oh great. Where did you go? Oh, I just been driving around. <laughs> I'm on my way over there. All right, I'm going to open up this little uh question mark here in the shop or next door here. Turn left. Oh, oh man, that fire truck just hit me. Did you get it flipped? No. I say there's a repair shop, it should take it right here. It's a Mac dealership. Okay, let's find a new route. When possible. Make a U-turn. Might as well fix my truck bomb here. I don't think there's much on it damage. Let's see. Now we're only at 6% damage. We'll fix it up anyways. See if I can get this truck out of here now. Tight little spot when you have a trailer on it. All right, I'm headed over there to get the load. All right. Man, I could go for a steak right about now. <laughs> billboard, steak? I think, was a yeah, billboard where it had a steak uh, thing on it. Going the wrong way on the one-way road here, but wanted to get it discovered. Oh, there goes a truck. Oh, son of a bitch. Total collision. Although he helped me out, though, so I can turn around. Oops, then I hit a fucking pole. Are you on the road yet? Ooh, this must be a heavy load. So we got, let's see, 34,117 on mine.
How do you see that? Um, if you go to F6. Oh, mine says, mine says toys, 33,075 pounds. Okay, yeah, mine's 34,000. And then turn right. Huh. Going to Sam's Club. Turn right. see you though I'm I'm on uh, the road next to ours right the road where we delivered off our last load at I'm just crawling along at 20 miles an hour yeah if you make your right and then make another right on the next road that's where I'm at I'm supposed to take a left left what which way are you going I'm going the way that it's telling me to go. Are you getting on uh, 30, 30, I-35? Yes. All right, well, I'll meet you on I-35 then, because mine's telling me to go the other way. I'm pretty much on the two roads next to you going the same way. For me. Oh, I just saw lightning. Really? Yeah. What was it? Y? No, not Y. What is uh, P? Yeah, P's for the windshield wiper blades. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Alright, you're passing me on the freeway. I'm, uh, I'm right below you <laughs> trying to get on her. I see ya. See you later. Sayonara. <laughs> oh, more lightning. I'm slowing down. I'm waiting for you. Yeah, I'm just getting on the entrance ramp right now. Lots of traffic in front of me. I'm doing 66. I just put my four ways on so you should be able to see me. And my flashers. Yeah. My flashers, my strobes. I'm finally getting up to speed here. I'm at 74 miles an hour. I'm not too far behind you. Get too much traffic in front of us. Oh 
boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. For a little shoulder driving and pull on that. this part so then the next time I come down the road I can fill in the main road instead of coming through here. Be nice if I don't stall my truck out. Come on Burger King. Is it next weekend that's Labor Day weekend? I don't think so, no. I think we got a couple weeks though, right? Yeah. That's taking me forever to get up to speed here. Nice long road down there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I haven't been on any of this Keep roads left. right here. Yeah, I haven't.
Are you pretty far behind me, or? Oh, no, I'm right behind you. Okay. I don't see you on my map, this owner's line. Oh, there you are. Driving skills? You see me flashing my headlights at you? Oh no, I didn't see it. You don't see that in your cab? No. Nope. What? Yeah. Oh wait, now I'm seeing it. Yeah. It actually, it's better Strong when you slow up. <laughs> yeah. Keep yeah, it looks better when it's lit up like that. Getting a good draft off yet. Nice. We still got 357 miles to go. Do a little bump drafting. Isn't that only when you're supposed to pat when you're looking to pass? No, it's when you're pushing the guy in front of you. Oh. That slingshot you're thinking of. Oh, yeah. Give him the Ricky Bobby. Getting to put my damn cruise control on my foot's getting tired. Waco, Texas. all these roads man that's gonna take forever to go down all these ones right here <laughs> jeez Just cruising at 99 miles an hour. No big deal. Is it Waco, Texas, where they had that massive uh, thing with uh, a bunch of people took a you know that pill and killed themselves? Oh yeah, there was some cult following thing. Yeah, the yeah. cult thing. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Waco Ranch. Almost thought about running in there, but oh. I didn't. Oh man, I flipped. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. How did you flip? There's nobody behind us. No one in front of you, except for me. Uh, that was a really sharp turn, and I did not slow down at all. Did you try going into the rest stop area? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh. Where does it pick you up at? 
There's a, oh, he, oh, he put you right in front of me. You're in front of me uh, just by a little bit. So I'm ta I'll catch up to you as, you as I'm coming through. There was a service station just up the road on uh, the freeway here. Nice. So I'm just keeping full speed and keep rolling towards you. truck just showed up directly straight in front of me like like right in front of my hood oh shit I went the wrong goddamn way it said keep left and then exit left so I do and then it fucks me over I'll slow it down to 50 miles an hour much of that rest area I got. <laughs> <laughs> the Waco Stadium. Driving about 60 miles an hour, so we're we should be able to catch up. I should be coming up. Yeah, I should be coming up on you here. Oh yeah, you're coming up pretty quick now. Bring it up a little higher. Boat 2024, baby. See that billboard? Yeah. It's a good idea to be taking curves at 87 miles an hour. Why not? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to tip it over. We're two of the safest Swift drivers out here. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I did just flip. But uh, Yeah, but that wasn't your fault. That's right. It wasn't. <laughs> that curve was just too sharp for the speed I was going. They right. should make it straighter. Yep. Uh oh, I'm running out of fuel. How? 
I got like still over a half a tank. How do you have? Well, I was driving around a lot. Not that much. What do you got locked in there? Looking. Uh, I'm at 93 right now. That's it. I don't see any fuel here. I can throw a hose I out guess. and we could siphon it out of my tank. Wait, there's a photo op right here. Where? Right What's here. It? <laughs> I just stopped in the middle of the road. I mean, I gotta take a picture though, too. Texas Pacific Lots. Hang on, let me get both of us in here. Oh, wait, I went too far out. Oh, there it is. Hang on. And then high names is N. All right. Oh, it just turned daylight. Nice. It didn't even seem like it took us that long. We only got 105 miles left. Yeah, but I need fuel in a bad way. I mean, there is a fuel stop to the right of us. Instead of making it left, you make it right. But there is another fuel stop in Wichita Falls, which is where we're going pretty much. I can only go another 95 miles. Oh, miles, snap. Maybe. Somehow I missed the but turn. Son of a bitch. I was in the map view and I, I clicked off the map and you're going up the ramp and I'm going to the left. <laughs> Oops. It's a, it's a short turnaround right here, up here. No, I still don't see any fuel, though. Just up in by Wichita Falls, there's fuel. Oh, I can make it to our destination. Yeah, it's right there. Turn left. Turn left. Keep left. I just had to go up to the next uh, main road here, and I could turn back around, come back on. Keep left, and then exit. I'm going to stop and get fuel at this stop right before uh, we get to our destination. All right. Pretty sure that's the one I was thinking about, anyways. Might as well probably turn on my coffee when we, or turn our coffee back on when we uh, get to our destination here. Then I'll have to turn it back on again until I leave. Oh, I won't have to turn it back on again. know if I wanted to jump off and get that rest area but I wasn't sure if the road in front of me was discovered yet could have jumped off there
Now, do you have any um, softball or band practice at all this week? Yeah, I got band Tuesday, softball Wednesday. All right. I might end up doing snow runner on them two days just because I haven't done snow runner in a while. I got quite a bit done so far on ATS here the last couple weeks here. Yeah, I figure I might as well when you're up here. Okay. Cause I'm, I got a half tank still, but I figure since how, you were stopped. How big still, is your tank? Um, I don't know. Is there a way to tell? Mine's two hundred. Yeah, mine's two hundred gallons. All right, let's see what mine says. Um, it's on the info on your dash. If you scroll through your info, it'll tell you your fuel and how many miles you can drive on it. Okay. Once I get it started, I can do it. So. Shit, I can't read it. It's too small. I wish I could read that. I don't know why I can't read that. Is there another view? Uh, not that I know of. I guess other than going into the truck configurator and seeing how big it is. Yeah, I can't re read uh, the trip uh, thing on it. Not the trip. It should say fuel. Yeah, no, it's just, um, well, it says trip, and then underneath it says fuel. No, no, there's... On the same screen, isn't it? No, trip, and then it says instant fuel economy. The next one's fuel and distance. Keep right, and then exit right. That's what mine does. Exit right. Right now it says I have 195 gallons of fuel. And yeah, I can go 1,437 miles. I have to get my glasses on. I can't read it. Kind of car that don't want to move over. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Ooh. I don't know where yours is at, but mine's a little tricky too. Yeah, you're probably in the same spot as mine. I'll let you get yours in first. Oh, wait, where are you going? Is your Odin loading behind us? Behind you? Yep. 
Oh, mine's on the other there side, uh, next to the trailer, against the building. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll wait until you get yours in. What, is yours right there in the second spot, or the one closest to the inner part of the building? Uh, it's next to the... I'm just straight back, basically. Uh, mine, yeah, mine's next to the trailer to the side of me. Well, you got this all the way. All in cab, baby. I haven't got out of the cab once. Nice. Ooh, I wonder if I could pull into this dock, cross on it, and just back straight up over in there. I don't think I got enough room in the trailer. Yeah, I don't think I have enough room. Booyah! Nice. Did we get it on the first try? Uh, I might have to pull boat forward a little bit. I'm going to keep backing, though, see if it does it. No, nope, we missed it. Son of a bitch. It's close, though. <laughs> Look at a tight little spot here. Good work. That they considered that good? I got forty one thousand for that job. No, I mean they considered that where you had your trailer to be in the right spot? No, the the delivery itself. No. I mean your trailer was completely angled and it didn't look like it was in the oh, slot. Yeah, they, no, they, they yeah, still gave, gave it to you. Yeah, they gave it to me. Like a boss that gave it to me. All right, your turn to pick the next load. We got about a, we got about a, a little bit about an hour in here. So let me go and get my coffee turned on real quick and use a quick bathroom break, and then, uh, and then we can get rolling on it. Try not to make it too long of a distance, though. All right, I'll be right back. Okay.
All right, I'm back here. Where did you go to now? I got a load. All right, you right in front of us somewhere? Let's see, convoy mode. Uh, you, just, just take the load and it'll direct you everywhere you gotta go. Yeah, uh, convoy, active convoy. Oh, it's saying unknown job. What? Oh, you, have you connected to the load yet? Yeah, I got it. All right, hang on. Let me get to where you're at here. Yeah, it won't let me take the load. Why? I don't know. It said unknown job thing. It wouldn't let me take it. Yes. Where? Did you, how did you get to over there? Everybody gonna turn into the same building? What? Where is your load going to? Uh, Wichita, Kansas. All right, it's not showing up on here. Let's see if I can hit convoy again. Active convoy. Unknown job. No details available. Oh wait. Yeah, no, I, even if I click on it, it won't let me it won't let me take the load. Um crap, why is it doing that? Wonder why it says a little. Yeah, it says no detailed job data available. It doesn't make no sense. We're in convoy. Oh shoot! You got a triples too. Oh yeah, baby. Oh wait, where are we going? We're going to. Wait, we're going to. The Georgia Pacific, in Hutchinson. All right, let me see if the load shows up here. I mean, you just going from the list on here. I got one going to Taylor, Gallup, New, New Mexico, and Flagstaff, Arizona. Mine's going to Kansas City. Where the hell is Kansas? Kansas, at? Kansas is straight up. The Hutchinson, that's where mine went to. Kansas is a different state. Oh. What did, um, what did you put for destination? Is it like maybe if I do that, there's different ones? No. Destination. If you, you know, if you do the cargo weight, maybe. Why won't it let, I don't understand this. Why won't it let me take your load? I wonder if I leave the session and come back in. Hold on. Let's try it. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so now, you take that one. now it showed up, yeah. What did you do differently? Just took a different load? I didn't customize it to be triples let's do this. okay here we go you think it has something to do with the triples that's making it so we can't take the same load well I customized the load I went in and I changed it to be triples it wasn't supposed to be Even if you did, though, it should still allow me to take I it. I know. Unless my truck no, isn't it's... routed or waited for that, maybe. You got three axles on the back. What's that? Never mind. Drive safe. Did you say doubles? 
No. Why is mine a double? And mine's not even the same trailer. Going in the same place? Hang on, let's see. <laughs> Waste paper, Wichita Falls. Yeah, same place. That's where we're at. Um... Yeah, I don't know why mine's double. Uh, mine's got two of them. We're going to Tucumari, Tucumacari. Yeah, New Mexico, three hundred fifty-four miles. That's the one. I don't get it. All right, we'll just roll with it. I got doubles on mine. Outback Statehouse. Nice. I was saying I could go for a steak. doesn't seem right if I'm taking the same load it should give me the same trailer and everything right it doesn't it doesn't did you switch it when Remember? you got this load done too I didn't because that's what that was my test I switched it the time before to get the triples and then yeah. it told you it was an unload load so this time I just went in and said you know what just give it to me as it is no configuration and I've had that happen to me I've taken the same load that you've had before and it didn't give me the same trailer configuration. Hmm. Oh well, we'll just have to roll with it. Mine's gonna be a little bit slower than you though. Shouldn't it be? I got doubles. Well, that shouldn't make you any slower unless you have more weight. Let's see what my weight is. 40,156. Uh, F6 or so. F7. F F6. Tells you the weight. Cargo. 34,000. Waste paper, 34,618. We should probably get both our trucks the same exact. Maybe that, maybe see if that does anything different. That was one of the kind of the cool things in that VTC is like uh, he had, you know, like five or six trucks that were company trucks. They all had the same specs. They all had the same color. I thought that was kind of fun, at least having them. Uh, so everybody matches. We did a lot of them, uh, them truck shows. We pretty much win every single one of them because he was so meticulous on making sure everybody was exactly the same, parked exactly the same. Did you guys ever do any of them trucks? I think you have, didn't you? The tr uh, what? The truck, truck shows? Show? Yeah, we're... No. I could have swore you were at one of them before. Where they be you basically meet up all in one area on Truckers MP and no. everybody parks next to each other and then they, they they judge everybody's companies. No, I've never been to those. Really? All right, let's 
let's try this again. I took the outside lane in. A little bit easier to get around here. But did it fill in the inside part? Yep. For surprisingly, oh. this one did. Usually oh. when I do that. Son what the hell that. was that? You you hit me. Um, <laughs> how did I hit you? I was coming around. I hit right away. Um, I didn't see you, and all of a sudden I'm on my side. But you are, are you on your side? Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, I'm pretty sure oh, yeah. you hit me. Well, I was coming around the outside lane. How far away is it going to put you? I'm still pretty sure you hit me. No, I haven't been right away. <laughs> Looks what like there's part a... of your what? What part of your truck did I make contact with? I don't know, because you hit me. Uh, no, that's <laughs> what I'm asking. If I hit you, what part of the truck? Where did it take you to? No idea. Uh, where are you at? Son of a bitch. Where did it take you to? I don't see you. There is a... A repair station in Clovis. Oh, we don't have that much farther to go anyway, so... I don't... Oh, you're way behind me now. You're in another... You're in the other state that I don't have. Not that far, actually, behind me. Did you get fixed up already? I'm fixed. Try not to do that again. <laughs> well, I mean, if people wouldn't run into the side of me, I would still be on all fours. I mean, I saw your name coming around, but I figured you'd see me coming around on the outside there. I think you did do some damage to me. Let's see what I got here. 12% on the truck and... 13 on the trailer. It does say see a uh, call service, but I ain't gonna call service. Well, if I did call service, it probably take me where you're at. No, it won't, because I don't have that state. It take me up further up north. Well, that didn't work out very well. Yeah, I still have 300 miles to go. I'm at 258, so we're not that far. You, you, they put you in whatever state you're in. I don't have that state. Is it North Carolina or South Carolina? Or I, don't know, I don't know what the hell it is over there. Nebraska? Shit. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, I don't have that one. Do not have Oklahoma. I don't have any of those last three states. And I really didn't want to buy them because it'll make my map percentage way down until at least I get more covered on uh, the states I do have. It's mainly California and Texas that really screw me up because I, I haven't done barely. <coughs> well, California I had 100% and then they redid it and now they put me at 50%. Not paying attention. Find Obviously, <laughs> you ran into me. I did not run into anybody. Somebody <laughs> knocked me on my side. If I would have ran into you, you would have been on your side. Reroute. Keep right. Okay. Let's find a new route. Recompute. Reroute.
I'm gonna go back and clip that and find out who hit who. I mean, like I said, I was coming on the outer side. You're cruising around in the middle there somehow. And the next thing you know, you hit me. Well, we'll I'll clip it and we'll find out. All right. We'll find out. Yeah, I think you're way behind me now. 311 miles away. That first load, was it going to the same area? Nope. Where was it going to? It was... Did it go to Oklahoma? Uh, yes, it... No, it went to Kansas. And that's probably why it was unknown, because you don't have Kansas. Yep. I'll, maybe I'll buy them this weekend. I already had them in the, the cart. I just was waiting, because they were only like eleven ninety nine each. I just didn't want my map to yeah. go down even further below because I don't have all them states done now. Well, it's going to do it one way or the other. When you buy it, it's still going to go down. But at least I'll have all the rest of them at 100%. Or that's my goal, at least. Oh, photo op, photo op coming up. Taking it. Big jet. I'll find a new rest. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it seems like if I, I went in another rest area, and if I go on the outer edge, it fills in the middle too. See, yeah, I found that if I didn't go in the inside edge, it didn't fill the whole thing. In. Yeah, and see, so but if you go in the inside edge, then it doesn't fill the outer edge out. Mine does. It's the opposite for me. Really. Beautiful Yeah, this trailer's pretty plain. It's just black trailer, black, like, one of them, uh, what do you call them? The ones with the cloth on the outside? There's no logos or nothing on it. Fifty-six. Yeah, see, so you're a hundred miles ahead of me. Yeah. Word to the wise: next time, give right away. Uh. <laughs> word to the wise: next time, don't run into somebody, and knock them over. <laughs> we might still I mean, be able to I get was... another load. I mean, I was in front of you, and you ran into the side of me and knocked me over. See, I don't see that, because when I was on my map, it, it showed Go you next on. to me. Like, not next to me, but... Wait, where is it? Oh, okay, the map is looking weird here. Um, it looked like you were coming up on the side of me, and like you would have followed right behind me. No, I was in front of you. Uh, no, I didn't see you in my, in my front windshields. I mean, I don't know how you didn't see me when you smashed into the side of me with the nose of your truck. <laughs> we'll just let good old Willie Nelson decide who was at wrong. Look at these. They got some spots here that looks like a big 
five different circles going around in the intersection for the switching uh, switching freeways. It's gonna take forever to fill. On this side of the freeway, I haven't been on the other side of the freeway though. Wish I would have taken that road next to us. Could have got that whole road knocked out. Man, that was a long road too. Maybe I'll pull off here. There's a camera thing. Catch up. Go straight on. Which city? Big, big county views. Three of twenty five that I've gotten in the state. Ooh, big windmills. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. It's like a windmill farm. The rest area I can go into. Reroute. All right, we're gonna go on the outside again. Let's see if it clears it all. Yep. It seems like the outside's best for me. booted or something? I think so. I just showed up on the bottom of my screen saying that you were playing American Truck Simulator all of a sudden. Mine said the same thing about you. Oh, did it? Yep. A new 
Let's get this little piece right here. yet if I've been to this Go place or not. On. Yeah, it looks like I have. It's one of these ones you gotta go above it and then go around and brings you down below the freeway. The delivery point is at. How much further you got? 49 miles. Search out the city, see if we can find a short load here. This might be tough to do. The doubles on me. Oh, maybe we might have it. Like a boss. Get it in there. See on the map. Yep, I'm almost there. We got ne uh, 500 and some miles. We can't do that. That's too far. Oh, it's already 1210. Shit, ain't got enough time to do any. Let's see what's in the map here. See if there's anything in around here that I haven't discovered. Just that intersection right here. The whole road going back to where we came from. We got a big old road here with a bunch of rest stops. Yeah, we got a couple main roads done today. Yeah, I got quite a bit in Texas to do. I need to get down here to Amarado or I don't know what this is. Lance Las Cruces. 
El Paso we haven't been to. All right. Well, it's probably going to be it for me today since it's already 10 after. We managed to get a little bit done here. I'll be right back, Ricky. Okay. All right, we got a little bit done here today, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to get a little bit more in tomorrow. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we're probably going to do some snow runner because I want to get get a little bit more done in the season 12. And then... Uh, We'll, we'll go for what's going to happen with the rest of the week here. But hopefully everybody has themselves a really nice evening. Get some rest. Thanks for stopping in here and hanging out. And we'll, we'll try and get back at it again tomorrow and see what we can get done in Texas here. And we'll go from there. So everybody have a great night. Thanks again. And we will see you guys next time. Yeah. Yeah.